In this demonstration, I'm going to show you some of the fast acquisition, advanced triggering, and automated search capabilities of the 6 Series BMSO. Now I've got a three pulse burst here signal, and it's bouncing around on the trigger on different rising edges. So I'm going to add some hold off, about 600 nanoseconds. Um, should, should allow me now to tr trigger on the rising edge of the first pulse very consistently. Um, now I want to see what's going on in this pulse, so I'm going to turn on fast act mode, which is a high speed capture uh, mode where we can actually see things that are happening very infrequently on this three burst pulse. And you can see the red and yellow colors are aspects of the signal that are happening very often, and the, the blue or cyan, the cooler colors, are the aspects that are more anomalous, less frequent in nature. Now I can see that I have a runt right here, so I'm going to go ahead and trigger on a runt using our runt trigger. Now that's got two thresholds, so I'll set the upper threshold to two volts and the lower threshold to one volt. Now it'll trigger on any runts that go between one and two volts. Now this demo board has some rising edges that are non-monotonic, so to make sure we don't trigger on one of those glitches, I'm just going to set it up to trigger on pulses that are wider than 50 nanoseconds. That way I'll make sure I'm grabbing runt pulses every time. And I'm going to switch it, the trigger mode to normal now so that I'm only triggering on actual trigger events. I'm not getting any auto triggers in there. And I can also then turn off fast act because I don't really need that uh, anymore. Okay, so now you can see we've got a nice runt pulse here. There's also a glitch on the other pulse there, but I want to determine how often this is occurring. So I'm going to acquire a lot more data, a much deeper record here, about 20 milliseconds uh, of time. And I'm hoping there's multiple versions of this, and I'll, I'll look for them with our automated search capability. Now there's an easy way, since I've already programmed the trigger, I can just copy the trigger settings to search with this button right here. So I'm going to do that, and you can see right now it found six anomalous um, runs in there, and they're highlighted with the triangles at the top of the screen. Now if I go ahead and take a single acquisition, I can single click the search icon, and then if I click the arrows, it'll actually navigate right to the different search events for me. Uh, th this is uh, possible when you stop the instrument. Now if I want to know how far apart these are, I can just turn on a search results table and you can see the delta right there, about 3.28 milliseconds between each of these runt anomalies.